Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrick Vox, and when gearing up for the Steven Universe movie, Cartoon Network is not the only ones who need to prepare themselves. Streaming services also have to prepare themselves, such as the iTunes Store, Amazon Prime, Google Play, so on and so forth. And sometimes that can lead to some pretty interesting news. One of these streaming services, YouTube Movies, right here on this platform, recently put up a page for Steve Universe the movie. And although it just simply includes the trailer and synopsis of the film, it's also accompanied with a list of the cast and crew working on this film. AKA the perfect thing to pull theories from. So of course, spoiler warning, if you don't even want to know any possible speculation, or people who's worked on the film at all, or if you just don't want to know anyone's voice actor, they're all valid reasons, just dip out and we'll see you around. With all that said, let's jump in. So before we touch on the cast for the film, I actually found myself attracted to the information below it, with the directors, producers, and writers. So let's start there. So Steven vs. The Movie is directed by Rebecca Sugar, Kat Morris, and Joe Johnston. It should be no surprise Sugar is helming this film, after all it is her baby, but it's important to acknowledge that a lot of media is a group effort. Steven Universe is no exception, so Sugar isn't tackling this alone. She has the trustworthy series executive producer, Kat Morris, by her side. Morris has been a storyboard supervisor and outline writer for the series since the very beginning, eventually being promoted to supervising director. And rounding out the trio of directors is Joe Johnston, who is a fan favorite storyboarder alongside Jeff Liu. They are often viewed as a most powerful duo. Whenever they worked on an episode together, you can expect for it to be a great time. To give you guys a good feel and his possible contribution to the film, he and Jeff Liu storyboarded Super Watermelon Island. Yeah, the episode that's pretty much just one giant fight between two fusions. You should be excited. Now the producers, aka everyone involved with the film in some way, shape, or form, is Alonzo Ramirez Ramos, whose name you may recognize as a storyboarder on Gravity Falls. Brian A. Miller, the Senior Vice President of Cartoon Network Studios, Chance the Rapper, we already knew he was heavily involved with the film, but it's still just so great seeing his name on the credits of a Steven Universe project, even if his latest album wasn't the most well received, Ian Jones Cordy, creator of OGKO, former executive producer on Steven Universe and Rebecca Sugar's longtime partner, Jassy Buscarino, producer on Steven Universe and the voice of Pacifica Northwest on Gravity Falls, Jennifer Pelfrey, another general producer at Cartoon Network, Joe Johnston, Kat Morris, Rebecca Sugar, Robert Sorcher, who is the executive vice president at Cartoon Network, and last but not least, Tram Wigzell, who is the senior vice president of original series for Cartoon Network. So yeah, all hands on deck for this one. However, what really excites me is who this film is written by. Having writing credits is Ben Levin, Hilary Florido, Ian Jones Cordy, Jack Pendarvis, Joe Johnston, Kat Morris, Matt Burnett, and Rebecca Sugar. Now, most of these names we've already touched on or you may recognize from the Crewniverse, but what excites me here is Ben Levin and Matt Burnett. You may have used to recognize them as the former head writers of Steve Universe, working on the first five seasons, but now they're working on Craig the Creek. I was under the impression Change Your Mind was the last project Matt and Ben were a part of, as that was the indication they gave out on social media, but no, they were involved in the film in some way, shape, or form. And although Change Your Mind was the original intent ending for the series, something about their last contribution being the movie just feels right. Alright, now to the nitty gritty, the actors. The people confirmed for their characters have actual appearances in the film, although this is not all of them. Amy Mann, Christine Ebersole, Dee Dee Magna Hall, Erica Luttrell, Estelle, Jennifer Paz, Kate Micucci, Lisa Hannigan, Matthew Moy, Michaela Dietz, Patti Lapone, Sarah Stiles, Shelby Rabara, Ted Leo, I don't know how to pronounce the name of Nanapal's voice actress, Tom Sharpling, Uzo Aduba, and Zach Callison. So again, I doubt these are all the characters. These were characters we already knew were present, such as the Diamonds, Lars, Opal, Sapphire, although Ruby's also confirmed, just not listed here, Peridot Lapis Bismuth, so on, so forth. But what we want to focus on are the two new actors listed, Sarah Stiles and Ted Leo, as there's reason to believe we can figure out who voices these characters. Characters. In classic Steve Universe fashion, Sarah Stiles is a singer and actress who has worked off-Broadway and on-Broadway theater. She's known for playing Kate Monster in Avenue Q. And a lot of people have been quick to point out that she has a high-pitched singing voice. Somewhere through the fall, 
this gives us reason to suspect that she is voicing the mysterious new gem. I know a lot of people were baking on Terra Strong. I at one point was expecting that as well, especially my theory that this gem could be a replacement for Pink Diamond. To have this gem who's unlike any we've seen before, it would have been fantastic. To break the Steve Universe mode and actually cast someone predominantly known in the cartoon voiceover industry, Terra Strong probably being one of the most popular female voice actresses like ever, but either way, I'm happy with this outcome. Steve Universe is just sticking to its roots and you can't help but to love that. But now let's shift gears on the main event that I probably titled this episode after, Ted Leo. Another American singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist. Until this point, we didn't know he was present in this film. But who could he voice? Well, as many, many fans pointed out, just listen to his voice, roll the clip. Men of breeding and men of sand. Yeah, I'm also thinking that Mr. Leo is going to voice a fusion between Greg and Steven. Going further to theory mode for a bit, I already touched on this in last week's episode, check that out if you haven't, but to reiterate, it appears as if all organic life is in trouble in the movie, as they only have 41 hours to stop this giant injector before it wipes out all living life on the planet. We also see that Steven develops bags under his eyes, which in relation to this injector popping up, they must have developed rather quickly, similar to Steven's physical state after White Diamond ripped out his gem, just not as severe, but that also means all humans are affected. So perhaps an effort to preserve the energy and give more spotlight to Steven's human half, instead of having him fused with another gem, he might just fuse with a human, his father. Although yes, I'm still rooting for Steven and Paradox Fusion to be loud and proud in the movie. There is a brief shot in the trailer of Greg and Steven playing their guitars side by side. Again, this could just be for something as simple as Beachapalooza, or it could have an even bigger relevance to the plot. Either way, Ted Leo has the perfect voice for this fusion, and I've always wanted to see Steven fuse with his dad, so Greg can explain experience what fusion feels like, and it would kind of be retroactive payoff to the time he attempted to fuse with Rose, which was explored in the episode We Need to Talk. Now obviously it's not the same implications at all, don't get the wrong idea, but it would be nice for Greg to receive some sort of closure when it comes to the aspect of fusion, not that it's something that haunts him every single day, but he deserves to rock out and take part in becoming someone entirely new, so I can't wait to hopefully see that unfold in the film. But as always, these are just my thoughts and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Who on this list of cast and crew excites you the most? Do you believe Steven and Greg will fuse? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundtableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Fox. We're also on Instagram. Help the Roundtable grow by either becoming a member of this channel, or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please order a like, and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Vox, signing out.